Hey guys, everything Epan here, and this is my uh, first video on this channel. Um, I transferred over to this channel from my old channel, Epan247 Dominoes, which I'm still keeping up, but um, I'm now going to upload videos on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to install uh, Windows 95 in VirtualBox. Um, I got an error la the one time. There was one time I got an error when I'm trying to install the Windows 95, and there is a fix that you actually have to do to do that with the newer version of Windows 95. So the first thing you need to do is create a virtual machine. And so we'll just name this Windows 95 YouTube. Um, hit next, next, create, next, next. And then you can give it as much space as you want, but I'll just leave it at 2 gigs. Hit create. And then hit settings, hit storage. And then the first thing you, we're going to be doing is installing MS DOS 6.22. So we're going to take, we're going to get the uh, file from the floppy disk drive. Um, so we just need to figure out where that's located. Mine is here in my operating systems folder. And you'll need um, these. The link will be, these links for everything will be in the description for all the downloads if you do not have all this. Um, you need to select the first disk. Hit open. And then that will pop up there. Just leave it like that and then hit OK. And then hit start. So VirtualBox VM will start. Say starting MS-DOS it'll bring you with the setup page so just hit enter um, enter and it will say make sure setup disk 1 is in drive A and it is in drive A so hit enter and it will format your C drive and this shouldn't take too long but you see it's uh, already done um, the date is correct the time is correct and the country and keyboard layout is correct so we'll hit enter again uh, hit enter here this part shouldn't take that long. This is the part where you need to insert the other setup files. So we'll need disk 2 now. And then we'll hit enter. And then disk 3. Hit enter. Now you won't be able to just left click like this and click it. You'll have to choose a new virtual floppy disk file, but they'll all be in the same place. Um, so make sure that the disk is out of the floppy drive now by just clicking on it like that and then hit enter. Let's say MS-DOS 6.22 is now in, installed on your computer. So now just hit enter to restart. And it'll come up with the MS-DOS. And there you go, MS-DOS is installed. Now you need to install a CD, um, a CD uh, ROM driver for MS-DOS. That'll be in the description with the MS DOS files. So you're going to need, it's an image file, so it's another floppy disk. So just find it. And you're, when you choose a virtual floppy disk file, you need to find it. But mine's just right here. Um, so then what you want to do is uh, type in A colon, then type in setup.bat. Hit enter, and it says setup is complete. Then you go back to your C drive, and you type in edit auto exec.bat. Hit enter, and you make sure that this, the bottom line in here, you can't really s uh, I'm on, on the bottom line right now, as you can see. This is, you need to make sure this is in here. It should be in here automatically, but um, if you need to, I'll probably put this, I'll put this in the description. Uh, maybe. Well, I mean, it won't really matter, but you just need to make sure that this is typed in on here. So you can pause the video and co um, copy this down in here. You only have to type it in once. So once you're done with that, you just hit Hold Alt, then click F, and then scroll down to Exit, or hit the X key. Make sure you save it too, by the way. So you'd hit Save, and then Alt F X. Then you need to do Edit config in all caps this will, this is in all caps by the way edit 
config.sys. And you make sure that this, the bottom line in this here, you need to make sure that this is there. You need to pause the video again to copy it down if it's not in there and go right ahead. Um, but you just need to make sure that this is in here. Then you go Alt F and then save. Sorry about that. Um, but just remember, uh, you need to save it. So Alt F S. I probably said this already, but Alt F S to save. And then it's Alt F. That's holding Alt, by the way, not just pressing it. And then hit the X key. And then you should be done there. So then now what you need to do is this this file will be in the description as well. So you can take this out and you need to put in the Windows 95 ISO that you have. This will be in the description, by the way. Um, so once that's in, you need to type in um, R colon, I think it's R. You may have to restart. I mean, or no, it's D, not R. It's D colon. Or no. If it does that, you may have to restart. So say starting on this DOS. And then there we go. Now we do D colon. And then we do setup. Now we'll hit enter. And here we are in the Windows 95 setup. Um, I, I don't know why I didn't make this full screen. I might as well just make this full screen. Maybe. There we go. So now we can make this full screen. Uh, so we can hit continue. Um, this part shouldn't take that long. And then you hit yes on the license agreement. And it'll load. Then you just hit next on this screen. Hit next again. Um, hit next. And then this product key will be in the description, but I'll just type it in right here. All right, and then once you hit next, just type in anything. Here I'll just type in everything you can. Oops, there we go. Hit enter. Just type in you can. There we go. Um, check both of these. Then hit next. And this part should not take that long as well. Um, it says analyzing your computer setup is checking to see what kind of hardware is in your computer. Um, but I'm gonna actually minimize this and not put in the full screen. Just in case you have to, uh, just in case I need to do anything here. So, if this takes longer than normal, then that's fine. But um, I'll be back with you guys once this is done. All right, so we're at 99%, 100, and there we go. We're done with that step now, so we can um, continue with the setup. So just hit next here. Hit no, I do not want a startup disk. Hit next. Hit next again. Prepare to copy files. Then I start copying files. This shouldn't take very long but back then it would take a while I think or it wouldn't take it wouldn't be this quick so it'll show you a little bit of stuff here in the in the middle while this uh, copying files is going on so um, have more fun more accessible and um, this is one of the big steps in their operating system and Microsoft's Windows operating systems at the time from Windows 3.1 uh, was a big jump so we're at 81% on copying files and 90 so we're getting closer and I'm in Satan and we're done with that now I'll just hit finish and um, just hit OK on this. It'll reboot. So it says starting Windows 95, getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. Now, if you get this error popping up right here, this is, um, I, I've seen a lot of people get this error. So you just want to close the machine, power it off, do 
not save the current state. Go to Settings, go to System, then Acceleration. Turn off Enable VTX AMDV, or whatever this is right here. T uncheck that, hit OK, and then click Start. Probably should have done that at the beginning, but I figured you guys wouldn't be able to see that error. So, once it's restarted, it'll do... If this comes up, just hit normal. Go up to normal and hit enter. This will come up here. And now we can continue with setup. So it's setting up hardware over here. says you must provide computer and work group names that will identify this computer on the network. So just type in anything here. Just type, I'll just type EPAN window win 95. Work group is work group closed. It'll say copying files right here. So this process takes a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but a little bit of time. It gets When it gets to about like 30% or something like that, it'll start going a lot faster. So I'll be back with you guys once this uh, file process is done. All right, so that was actually quicker than I expected. I stopped the video and about 10 seconds later, I restarted this. So it went quicker than I expected. I, so it was at about like 30% and then it started going. So. The hourglass here, so it's loading. Now, um, there will be something that pops up up in the corner over here, and then something over here, I think, too, during the part. Right here is a part control panel. And then programs on the start menu. Come up with all the shortcut stuff here. Of course, you cannot close it because the X is. You can't click the X. I'm trying right now and it's not working. Alright. Windows Help. It'll skip down all the way to Time Zone. So I'm in the Central Time Zone. Or Date and Time is November 11th, 2014, and it's 5 10 p.m close and you can can and you can cancel this printer setup thing here so now we need to before we restart we need to eject the CD and then hit OK it'll say starting Windows 95 again come up with the boot screen Windows 95 with Microsoft Internet Explorer. And then it'll sit at this black screen for a little bit with the line up at the bottom left. And then we'll get another screen. We'll get the actual login screen. So here you can either, I think you can either hit cancel or I'm pretty sure you can hit cancel on this. And then it should come up with the Windows 95. screen or something like that. So it'll start up our log on screen. It's the startup sound. So, and now you have uh, Windows 95 installed on your computer. And uh, I think it'll at some point make you do updates. Um, where you do that, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if it just popped up or something like that. Internet Explorer, I mean, you for some reason, the internet's not working on mine, but I'm, I've been a, I've been able to use internet before on Windows 95 in a virtual machine. Because if I try going to Google.com, it'll say an error has occurred, so it won't take me anywhere. But 
Um, if any update thing comes up, then you can go and update if you want. But um, that is how you install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I know this is kind of a weird tutorial or video to start off for this channel, but um, I figured I've seen a video out there with I've seen a Windows 95 tutorial out there without this MS DOS CD thing, and a lot of people were having that problem, so um, figured I'd make a tutorial on how to do it. So um, all the links are in the description for the MS DOS CD, the CD driver, the Windows 95 setup, all that good stuff. Um, I'll also have the little text in the description like for the auto executable thing and the config for the CD driver. So um, once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.